Hello everyone and welcome back to the QT Office video tutorials. Today we're going to go over gift certificates and coupons and we're going to give you a couple tips on how to really use those to your best advantage while running your Mary Kay business and running sales and trying to get new business from your existing customers. So we're going to go ahead and log into www.qtoffice.com which will bring you to your main page. We're going to go ahead and take a view or look up here at our main view of our tabs and the gift certificates and coupons are going to be listed under the inventory tab right here. So there's two different kinds of gift certificates slash coupons, uh, gift certificates and coupons, but they're a little bit different from each other and we wanted to put this video under the same roof because we wanted to point out the differences here. Now gift certificates are actually sold. So the way those are going to be recorded is you're going to sell them just like any other product on your shelf and then people can redeem them. So we'll actually track that and we'll get into that a little bit more. Now coupons you do not actually sell. You print them and you give them away with the hopes of either getting someone to try a new product or getting a sale that you might not have otherwise had or maybe just keep your customers in the habit of purchasing every 30 days or every 60 days or whatever your strategy is. So when you redeem a coupon, you'll actually redeem that as a discount on the invoice. And when you redeem a gift certificate, you'll redeem it as a gift certificate. And we'll get into that in just a few minutes. But let's go ahead and create our first gift certificate. There's going to be several in here already because we've already done several for our test account and for some live demos. So we're on the gift certificate page right here. Uh, there's the getting started is the main view which is going to cover some of the same things that we went over already and are going over. We're going to be able to create a gift certificate which we're going to do next. And after you create the gift certificate it comes down here to the gift certificates list. Now you do not want to put an individual's name on the gift certificate when you create the gift certificate because you can sell the same gift certificate over and over and over. It generates a new one for every sale. So, for example, and we'll just go take a look at the one I've already created, but you'd put in your gift certificate title, your message, your amount right here, and then your disclaimer. And a good disclaimer is, uh, a couple good disclaimers would be, must be redeemed within one year, non-transferable, um, and oftentimes you do want someone to be able to transfer it to, in case of a husband or a boyfriend buying something for their wife or their girlfriend. And you can actually take a view of what it looks like here. So it's all this information. This will be your information here and it'll have the amount and the disclaimer rate on there. So after you create it, it goes down to the gift certificate list. And as you can see, we have several that we've already created. Now it tells you the gift amount. And even if you want to do a discount one, that's fine. Just go ahead and put the full amount here because when you sell it, you can do a, a discount. We'll show you that here in a second. So let's go ahead and take a look at $100 Mary Kay bucks. So this was a gift certificate that we created in step one right here, create gift certificate for $100. Now that we've created this, we have several different options. We can edit it, we can sell it, or we can delete it. Now if we choose sell it, which is this right here, sell a copy, you'll see that it you can sell it to one of your customers and you just pick your customer like any other invoice and if it's a gift for someone else you could put the gift here so if it was a husband or a boyfriend then you would go ahead and add customer and add them as one of your customers and then you would put their wife or their girlfriend under the recipient's name if you do want to give a discount you can do that here and then that'll be taken off here you can also do a personal message um, right here thank you for your purchase or any other message you like. If you'd like to save the message too, you can just click this little box and after you're done with the invoice, you can pull a message from history in the future. Okay, so if the gift certificate is not paid in full, then uncheck the paid in full, but it's a really bad habit to get into to give gift certificates away free because they're really the same as cash. So let me go ahead and just make sure that this is okay. Great, we're gonna hit continue. And we can either send an email to uh, your customer with a copy of this, or we can print it. Now that we've sold this gift certificate, it moves on down the line. So let's go ahead and take a look at sold gift certificates. Now we have a lot in here that we've used for examples, but the one I just sold was the 
dollar Mary Kay bucks for Elizabeth McGee. We'll go ahead and redeem this here in just a second, but you can see that the original gift amount was $100. We haven't used it to uh, purchase anything at all, so they have $100 left. It shows us when it was created. Now here with these icons, you can download it to your computer so you can send it as an attachment. You can print it and manually hand it to them. You can email it, which will send it as an attachment. And you can look and see what they purchased in the past with a gift certificate, which we haven't created anything yet. Only delete this if you want to start over, because if they've paid for this and you delete it, then you're going to mess up your tracking. So if you made a mistake and they wanted to recreate the gift certificate, then you would delete it and recreate it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the coupons before we go to the invoice. Coupons also have instructional text right here as well. And you'll do the same things here, you'll create the coupon. The disclaimer is normally a little bit more important with the coupons because they are free. You don't want them to cost you more money than they're getting you back in. A couple good examples of a good disclaimer for a coupon is not redeemable with any other sale, uh, good for full purchase price only, um, or regular price only, good for discontinued products only, good for new or limited edition items only. Uh, another one that's real popular is must be redeemed within 30 days. If you use that, then you have a good reason to call someone. For instance, you put 30 days out and you drop this into a bag you deliver. Hey, by the way, just to let you know, um, I really appreciate your business. There's a 10% coupon off if you buy in the next 30 days. And then all you would do is go to customers and click on follow up. Put a follow up note for 30 days out or 29 days out and then go ahead and put that on your calendar, which will send you an email when 30 days are up saying, hey, uh, call your customer, this coupon's getting ready to run out. Then you call her and say, hey, by the way, you have a coupon that's getting ready to expire today. And then if, you, if they need a little bit more incentive, then you could combine that with something else like uh, that you wanna sell, for instance. And if you use that for any discontinued items or new regular line items, we're gonna double it, so you get 20% off. Those are just some really good examples that have been given to us. Other good examples would be uh, the birthday coupon. That's always popular. So again, after you create it, uh, the coupon, just like the, you'll create it just like the gift certificate. It'll come down here to the coupon list. And you can see we've done one for Mother's Day coupon. All right, so now that we have gift certificates and coupons, and, and real quick too, you have the same icons here. You can print it and you can edit it, email it, download it, all that good stuff. But we're going to go ahead and go to the invoice and I'll show you how to redeem the coupons and gift certificates. Okay, so you're going to create the invoice just like normal. Add the products to the invoice just like normal. And the way you redeem the, the gift code here is there's a gift code box. So come up to the top here and right click on your inventory and open in a new tab. I didn't left click on it because that would take you off this page. So I'm gonna left click here, we're gonna go take a look at our, our gift certificates. And we're gonna go down to our sold gift certificates. And let's go ahead and take a look at Elizabeth McGee's gift certificate here. We're gonna right click and copy. So basically we went to the sold gift certificates, we found the gift certificate we wanted to use, and we're gonna copy that number there. And then you're gonna come down here and paste and add it. Available balance, $100. And you can see this is $35 for the product. And with the taxes, it's $36.90. And you can see that the amount paid is $36.90. This will be updated as soon as you complete the invoice because it's not completed yet. And let's go ahead and take a look and see what that looks like. All right, payment, gift certificate. We'll go ahead and confirm this. So now this invoice has been recorded under invoices, but let's go ahead and take a look at that inventory again and go to the gift certificate. Okay, so now you can see that this was originally $100. Elizabeth has used $36.90 and she has $63.10 left. And you can actually see what she's purchased as well. The invoice number and let me show you one last thing and then we'll wrap this video up. So instead of using the gift certificate code here, if someone has a coupon, now 
keep in mind, gift certificates and coupons are two different things. So if someone has a coupon, you would just add it to the discount box, either the dollar discount or the percentage discount. And the reason for that is because it's just a discount, a coupon, that's all it is. And when that tracks on your taxes, it'll show up on your tax report at the very end of the year and it will show up as total discounts given and that line item is right here. So hope you've enjoyed the coupon and gift certificates video. If you have any questions please email us info at qtoffice.com or if you're a QT of course you can just click help or contact us. We look forward to helping you improve your Mary Kay business. Thank you so much.